Hello, thank you for joining us today. I'm Martin Lindsay, product manager of our wireless and workflow solutions. Today, I'd like to introduce you to our video production pack. This package includes a PXW Z280 4K 3 chip half inch CMOS sensor camcorder. It also includes accessories for that camcorder, including tripod, wireless audio, batteries, a carrying case, etc. And it also includes a PWS 110RX1A physical receiver that allows you to remote into that and control the cameras, as well as provide an SDI output for those live streams. We're also including in this kit a C trial for 30 days. And with Sony C Media Cloud Services, this allows you to wirelessly transmit files and media from your camera, your Z280, into Sony C, where you can then collaborate and edit with that material and share. So next I'd like to explain where our equipment is located. We're gonna start with the camera that's in located in Los Angeles with uh, Sam. Sam is gonna be operating that camera today and we'll have some uh, interaction with him. We also have the PWS 110RX1A located in Toronto. That is in uh, Toronto, Canada, in actually uh, my basement right now. That receiver can essentially really be anywhere you want. It can be in a rack room somewhere or a uh, IT room. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be wherever you need that SDI output to go if you do want to use that for live streams. So as I mentioned, the Z280 comes as a complete kit and Sam is now on site in LA where he's gonna do a shoot. He's gonna take the camera out, mount it on the tripod obviously insert the battery, connect his wireless audio to the multi-interface shoe on the top of the camera, and that allows dual channel audio. And he's also then going to connect to the network via any method he wants. And in Sam's case, he's gonna plug in an LTE USB uh, modem, and that's gonna allow him to connect to the cellular networks. Once that's done, he can call back to the producer, in this case me, and let the producer know that he's ready to shoot and have the producer verify the shot and do any minor uh, camera adjustments if required. Hello? Hello, Martin, how are you? This is Sam. Hey Sam, how you doing? Great, I got the Z280 all connected and I have the uh, LTE dongle in, so it looks like I'm, I'm wireless and you should be seeing my camera. Awesome, okay, so basically we were just logged into to our receiver, which allows us to have up to 30 cameras connected. Uh, in this case, we have two cameras, uh, both my camera and Sam's camera in California. Uh, and then we also have the ability to drag and drop to an SDI output. So there's two SDI outputs on, on the receiver. And if we drag and drop Sam's camera into our receiver output number one, it will start streaming. So we're streaming right now through public in, uh, internet, basically over the cellular connection that he's got connected back to my uh, SDI monitor here via the receiver in the basement, my RX1A. Um, and that's all happening in about one and a half seconds from Sam's camera all the way back to my, uh, my monitor here. So we have the option to do some adjustments in terms of network range, in terms of uh, adjusting the, uh, the delay if you want to make it higher for more uh, st uh, stability. We also have the option to uh, go into remote control mode here of, uh, of Sam's camera. If we turn the remote control on, I have the option now to, as a producer, look into Sam's camera and basically make some adjustments, including zoom, focus, iris, you know, and gain and shutter and white balance as well. So Sam, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on your camera here. Uh, just because I think it's a bit wide. Let's do a little bit of a zoom, maybe about there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Your lighting looks good, so I, I think that's good enough to, to go with for a, a shot right now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a, uh, a record start. Um, All right, go and, ahead. And then I'll put the ball down and, and then do my line. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's so I'll, right. I'll start the recording and you'll see the tally light go. Hi, I'm Sam Ferris, and we're reporting to you live from Los Angeles, California at the DMPC. Awesome, so I'm gonna stop the record now. With that, we have the option to go into the file transfer tab and click on the camera of our choice, in this uh, case, Sam's camera. Uh, but before we do that, we're actually gonna stop the stream so we can uh, prioritize the file transfers. When we go into the file transfer tab here, I can click on Sam. Uh, and I see all the media that's available. So this is uh, listed under the proxy clips, the nine megabit per second uh, records, MP4s. And then we also have the high res MXF clips here available to us as well. Uh, what a really neat feature is, is the ability to see the clip that he just recorded. 
uh, I can do that um, playing back directly from his camera uh, by just clicking the play button here. But you do have the option to cherry pick the media uh, and play that back before you do a transfer. When you're ready to do a transfer, you just do an upload. So you click the upload button and you will be selected that, you've selected that clip to do an upload to an FTP server that you had already set. In this case, I'm using C. So as you know, we are including a Sony C Media Cloud Services trial. Uh, with this uh, with this video production kit and we're up loading now essentially directly from Sam's camera all the way to our C cloud account the file that Sam just recorded